The Enneagram personality test can be a tool for finding love and determining your strengths and weaknesses. And Dr. Gerald Griffin joins us now to break it all down. And this is not anything that's new. This has been around for a while when it comes to try to figuring out mm -hmm. people's personalities and how they work well together. Tell us how you have come to use this uh, for helping people to figure out relationships. Well, I argue that in my book on building a better you, the more you know about yourself, the better you can be in relationship with other people. And so the Enneagram becomes a phenomenal tool for us to understand ourselves and help understand other people. And Tanya touched on this. This has been around for a while. This is thousands of years old. I mean, I'm not familiar with it. So can you just give us the basics? Yes, it's like a 2,500 year old system that some of our early church fathers used as a way of connecting and understanding ourselves. Because again, if you know about yourself, the better you can connect with others. So how does a number get assigned to a personality mm -hmm. trait and, and, and right so there's nine personality types one is a good person original person, five is a wise person, six is a loyal person, seven is a joyful person, oh, no. eight is a powerful person, nine is a peaceful person. So really those are aspects of the characteristics of God. So all of us have a slice of the divine in us. Sure. And then so based on we answer questions. You answer questions. You take a test and then you get a score from that test. And so I know in most uh, Enneagrams they look at one number. What I do is, is I look at all of your numbers. Mm -hmm. Because when you go to the doctor, the doctor doesn't just look at one of your numbers, the doctor looks at all of your numbers. So all of your numbers say something about your overall personality. Well, I'm glad that you do because we don't want to just be one of those traits <laughs> and characteristics. I know. have a little and bit of, yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. So um, how long is the test? I know we took a sample test. Right. But how many questions is the test? In there general? are a variety of tests. Okay. Some have 300 questions. The one that you mm. took took 38 questions. Mm -hmm. okay. So there are a variety of testing on the Enneagrams that you can take. All right, so you want to give us the results of <laughs> oh, the test? So who wants to go first? Tanya? Go with me first, okay. and then we'll... G, you are a two. Your highest number is a two, which means you're a helper. You easily connect I'm... with people. Yes. You have never met a stranger. Yes. You know, you love to travel. You are an adventurous person. I am. And you can be complicated in relationships. I... Oh, because... oh. <laughs> you got your number, girl. The reason why, G is because you need companionship, affection, and freedom all at the same time. I do, I do, you know me <laughs> yes, so well. Yes, and you just, and, but you don't like people changing your style, so you're like, this is who I am, Yes. and you can be the life of the party. Mm -hmm. When you show up, you're a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, so. she is. Oh, that's so, I think that's that is yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Tanya, you ready? I'm ready for Tanya. Mm -hmm. yes. Tanya, your highest number is a five, okay. which means you could be an introvert sometimes. Mm -hmm. You do oh. love people, but mm -hmm. you do like your me time. Oh yeah. You know, mm. you're an which I have none of now because I have two <laughs> children. <laughs> you're an extremely loyal person, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you've created systems to be able to help you navigate uh, relationships and home and all of that and that. But as a result of your five, you have a great sense of intuition. So you literally can see things before they happen. You sort of feel it. Mm -hmm. And as long as you hold on to that instinct, um, you really have no problem. It's when you don't follow that gut instinct that you say, oh, problem. something told me yes. to do that. Yep. So that, that's, that's the me. gift that you that you have. And so when you give people this kind of information, what can they do with it? How do they use it? in their life to move forward in relationships, be it romantic relationships or um, professional relationships. Right, so this is great for personal relationships as well as professional relationships. So take, for example, with you, you know that you also you can be introverted. So now that you know that, there are times that you've got to put on your extroverted face. Mm -hmm. So there are times that you've got to go and really connect with people, even though it can sometimes drain you, you still have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but so now that you have that information, it helps you to be in better relationship with other people. Mm -hmm. When you're on a team, you know how to do that. And so for you, you're a helper, you're always connecting with people. Well, sometimes you can tone that down. 
Yes. Because some people may find it, well, she could be a little too Annoying. much to this. <laughs> so you just tone it down. So know that when you're working in relationships as well as when you're in, in, in uh, partnership with someone, these are tools that you can use to help build a better relationship. So now when someone comes to you and they do this, do they, if they're trying to work out a relationship, do they need to do it as a couple or can they do it individually? Mm. How, how, how would this work? I make them do it individually and then we sit and we talk about it. Because you start to see whether or not you're compatible. Mm. Because remember, some chemicals don't mix. Oh, oil and water. <laughs> you just said today is National Cocktail Day. You mm. see, some chemicals just don't mix. And so you need to have uh, both of them take the test and see how they connect together and how they can work together. Because the more you know about yourself, the better you can be in a relationship with people. And you have your book and, of course, yes. um, all the... There's information so that people can reach out to you because yes. you do these sessions one-on-one. -on -one. I do one-on-one. -on -one. I also do for corporate. I'm an Enneagram coach, so I also teach uh, the Enneagram. I've um, been doing it now for about 15 years, and you can reach me mm -hmm. at ddarylgriffin.com. Oh, well, thank and here's you so much. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Griffin. Both of you. Oh, thank, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Great yeah. information there.